Hello and welcome to Girls Brigade and Boys Brigade at Home. This is episode 7. Now I know that this week lots of you have gone back to school. I really hope that you're having fun but also staying safe. And for those of you who are at home, I hope you're still working really, really hard. In this episode, we're going to have our second parable, the story of the lost son. This is another parable that Jesus told. Do you remember the Pharisees were complaining that Jesus was eating meals and spending time with people that they thought were very wrong? Jesus told them this story. There was once a man who had two sons and they both worked together on their father's land. Some day the two sons would inherit all their father's money and land and the house and all the farm animals. They loved working together. They worked so hard with their father on his farm. But one day the youngest son said, Father, give me the money I will inherit when you die. I want to see the world and have a good time. Now for him to do this was actually quite offensive. He was saying, I don't want to be with you anymore. I'd much prefer if you were dead. What a terrible thing to say. But the father, with sadness in his heart, gave the youngest son his share of inheritance praying that his son would spend it wisely and live a good life. (laughs) But the son had wild parties to impress his friends. He spent money on whatever he wanted. Everyone wanted to be his best friend because he had lots of money and he paid for everything. But soon all the money had gone. When the landlord came to get the rent, the son couldn't pay. (laughs) And then his new friends disappeared. And now he was homeless, without any friends, without any money. He had nothing. Now at that time there was a famine in the land and the young son was all alone and very hungry. He tried to look for a job but no one would take him on. Then a farmer gave him a job looking after pigs. But he wasn't given any food to eat. All that he had to eat was the pig's food. As he sat there with the pigs, he began thinking, My father feeds his servants well. They have good conditions, they have somewhere to stay, they have food to eat. I'd be better off being a servant for my father than being here looking after these pigs. I would go home at once. And I would tell my father that I don't deserve to be his son, but please let me be one of his servants. So off he went. But as he was walking along the road, his father saw him from the distance. Every day he'd gone to the top of the house and would look along the road, longing for his son to return to him. And as soon as he saw him, far away in the distance, he was so overjoyed that he went downstairs out of the house and ran to meet his lost son. He was so overjoyed to see his son. He hugged him and kissed him. But the son said, Father, I'm not worthy to be your son. I'm so sorry I've wasted all the inheritance money you gave me. Just let me be your servant. Please just let me be with you, he begged his father. But the father's heart was filled with loving kindness towards his son. He told his servant, bring me the best robe I have and bring shoes for my son and a ring for my son's finger. He told his servants to prepare the best roast beef and food for a great party they were going to have with music and dancing to celebrate the return of his long lost son. But when the older brother came home from working hard on the farm all day, He heard the music and laughter and he wondered what the fuss was all about. Why are they having this party today? When he realised it's because his younger brother had returned, he was so jealous that his father was celebrating the return of his useless brother. I've worked hard for you for years. Have you ever done something like this for me? Have you ever given me a party or the best robe or a fine ring on my finger? No, you've never done that for me, but you've done it for him when he took all your money and just left. But the father looked at his oldest son and said gently, Son, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. 
We should be happy and celebrate together that your lost brother is found. We must choose to be happy, not jealous, when someone else is honoured. Our Father in heaven rejoices when someone who is far away from him returns and asks for forgiveness. We're now going to see a video about the story of the lost son.
favourites and it talks about God being like a father to us who always loves us and looks after us. Sing with us, Father God I wonder. and staying inside has lasted a very long time and for some people they've been completely by themselves. We sent a card back at Easter and people really appreciated that. So what I'd like you to do this week is draw a summer themed picture. It could be some flowers or a lovely sunshine picture or a rainbow picture, whatever you'd like and then take a picture of it, WhatsApp it to me and then we'll make a lovely card which we'll send out to as many people as possible. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you would like to be in our talent show, in our virtual talent show, then please send a clip or a photograph of you doing your talent. We'd really love to see it. Have a good week. Bye-bye.